are you on the hunt for the best beaches in Bali? After exploring Bali for one month with my husband Alex, I must say, we definitely found the three best kept secret beaches on the island. And no, I'm not talking about the most popular Diamond Beach. Personally, I found the most popular beaches way too crowded and really hard to get to. Thankfully, our three favorite beaches in Bali are all within one hour from the most popular areas of Ubud, Kuta, and Nusa Penida. Let's dive right in. Our top pick for a private beach day without the crowds has to be Bias Tovol Beach. Located just one hour southeast from Ubud, this white sandy beach is perfect for snorkeling nearby, walking on the beach, and spending the whole day relaxing on the lawn chairs provided by the locals. This slice of paradise is open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and has a small entrance fee of only 10 rupees per person. One really nice thing about this beach are the restaurants available to you, so you don't have to worry about packing drinks or snacks for the day. If you need any more convincing to check out this amazing hidden gem in Bali, well, here it is. Massages. By far, one of the best massages I've ever gotten in Bali is right on the beach. Talk about a perfect atmosphere with the crashing waves in the background. Our number two pick for the best beach in Bali that is off the beaten path is going to be on the island of Nusa Penida. Now, if you've ever heard of Nusa Penida, I'm sure you've heard of the beaches Diamond Beach and Kalinking, but honestly, I was not impressed with these at all. Yeah, okay, it's worth a good look and a few pictures, but the hike down is horrible. You feel like you're hiking down a mile of stairs and you're so exhausted and sweaty by the time you actually get to the beach. Personally, I'm trying to relax on my beach days, not catch a sweat. So for a secluded beach day with no crowds, head to Crystal Bay. So we made it to Crystal Beach and then there's another little beach that you have to kind of like hike up to and go through the woods and get here. It's a private cove, it's absolutely beautiful. I found some bean bags to chill on. There's a little drink stand and definitely more private than Crystal Beach. So I highly recommend if you can make it, get on over here, check it out. We're on the hunt for a hidden beach with a shipwreck and it's kind of weird because you have to park at a hotel and then walk down these stairs and then there's this hidden beach so super excited to share it with you guys and hopefully it's just as beautiful as I looked up. After exploring the beach and the cool shipwreck, it was time to get a fresh coconut and head back up to our scooter. What'd you think of the beach? Oh, it was a nice beach. Just uh, no vendors around, so you gotta bring your own snacks, bring your own water. The shipwreck is nice. The water is really blue. Just not uh, really strong currents. You do have to take a little bit of a hike to get down here and back up but I'm about to record and see how long it actually takes us. So stay tuned. 